In today's Clash of Clans video, we're going to take a look at Kill Squad Hogs, an incredibly powerful Town Hall 10 attack strategy. Let's get into it. What is everybody? It is JG10 Orange here, and welcome to another Clash of Clans video. And today, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Kill Squad Hog attack strategy at Town Hall 10 and how to execute it effectively here. So, we're going to go ahead and go straight into it here, starting with our first raid. I'm going to go ahead and pause it really quickly here to go ahead and break down what the attacker is going through here in order to clear through this base. So, the big start here is those P.E.K.K.A.s on the outside to do a bit of funneling, taking down the trash buildings, and then he's sending in his wall wrecker directly into a single target, which isn't ideal. However, that single target will eventually go down to what's inside of that wall wrecker. So we'll go ahead and get to that in just a moment here. So the big key with this attack strategy is effectively using your kill squad to grab three main attributes of the base, that being the enemy queen, the enemy clan castle, and possibly a high value defense, that being an expo or an inferno tower. So as you can see, the entire kill squad is moving through here. They've taken down the enemy CC, and now they're moving towards the enemy queen. They've also grabbed an inferno tower along the way. So they're going to be pushing through here just a little bit more and eventually get that queen down, even though it looks a bit rough here, going to spoil it for you. And so now that he's grabbed those three key parts of the base, he's able to move in with the hogs from about the 12 to 9 o'clock side. So as you can see, all of the hogs moving in here and notice the pathing for the hog riders here. They're going to be moving straight through this base in a bit of a counterclockwise motion, making sure that they're not so much staying clumped together, but staying in the same sectors around the base as they move through. So the friendly queen has decided to go off and have a party on her own and start shooting a wall at random queen thing she does whatever but now we've got all of the hog riders moving through this base on the left side here and again they'll be wrapping around it in a counterclockwise motion staying relatively together and clearing through the base in sections now again keeping those hog riders in those sections at the same time is super crucial to actually clearing through this base and you'll notice in this particular replay they actually don't get through all of the defenses due to them spreading out here so once this cannon goes down he's going to have a couple of hog riders go to the expo and a couple of them go to the tesla and that's going to cause them to split up and make them basically just go down way quicker than he needed them to Hog Riders will work better in numbers if you have them together they'll be able to take down defenses faster as well as clear through the base just relatively quicker and more effective. So in this case, he actually ran out of Hog Riders and his friendly queen died. However, with the P.E.K.K.A. and the Barbarian King staying alive, he was able to clear through the rest of these buildings here. So again, those three key attributes went down very early in this raid before the Hog Riders even saw deployment. So now let's go ahead and take a look at our second replay in just a moment. Okay, so now we're taking a look at our second raid here, a bit of a different base. However, the attack strategy will stay fundamentally the same. Going to start here with a few P.E.K.K.A.s on the outside to clear through these trash buildings in order to create a funnel for his kill squad to push in. Now he's deployed the, the friendly king, friendly wall wrecker, and the queen, and they're going to move through. And as you can see, this entry point in this base is super, super good here because he's actually going to end up getting the enemy king, the enemy queen, eventually pull the CC as well as get reached towards an inferno tower once his troops move into this base here. So now the wall wrecker is actually going to move through and not do a ton for his troops here, but it'll actually clear through these walls, allowing the queen to reach over and snipe these key buildings. Now the expo is actually being or the expo is be the expo is being tanked by the barbarian king here and is eventually going to go down. The clan castle does get pulled towards the bottom side due to that Pekka However, it'll eventually dial back towards the top where the queen is and go down. So this wall wrecker was actually able to clear through that entire top section of the base. And a huge key with this wall wrecker and the bowlers inside of it is right now the spell placement for the bowlers. You're going to want to make sure that you have a rage and a heal overlapping to keep the bowlers alive and super strong to clear through the defenses. Look at how much damage they're getting on this base and on these defenses. Over 50% of the base was gone before we even saw the hog riders get deployed and they did get deployed around the 6 to 4 o'clock side there. Double heal to keep them alive through these defenses here through the multi-target inferno this back end heal essentially was swagged he really didn't need it in all honesty he could have been perfectly fine without it and i mean this base was absolutely crushed it was fantastic base identification as well as fantastic execution from the attacker so now let's go ahead and take a look at our third replay 
All right, so now we have the same exact army composition, however, a different base again, this one running one single and one multi-target Inferno. So same fundamentals as before, starting with the P.E.K.K.A.s and the Wizards on the outside here to clear through some trash buildings and create a funnel for his main push into the center of this base. Here comes the Wall Wrecker a bit earlier than the Barbarian King, so that's going to cause it to take a bit more damage. King wanders off to the left side just a little bit, however, this Queen and uh, friendly P.E.K.K.A. will stay focused on the middle of the base here and move through and as again with this entry point you can see that he's set up to grab the enemy queen as well as possibly get an inferno tower depending on how far this wall wrecker can push through the base now the clan castle is on the far side of this entry point however it'll eventually get drawn out due to the barbarian king luring it and then it will eventually get taken down so the queen is actually going to step up here and start taking down the enemy queen. Heal and rage over the bowler is going to keep them alive and keep them enraged, causing them to do tons more damage. CC, enemy CC does get pulled and eventually will go down. And once he's got that CC on lock inside of the poison, here come the hog riders from about the three o'clock side straight into that multi-target inferno to take it down. And again, notice the pathing he now has for his hog riders here. They're going to slowly move in a counterclockwise motion throughout this base and take down every single one of these defenses, staying together and doing tons of damage enemy or the friendly queen still has her ability and is going to be able to use a bit more value taking down a few more defenses and buildings before the hog riders move in here as well as just doing a bit of tanking for them getting that expo off of his hogs expo is actually eventually going to go down here and here come the hogs again moving in in a counterclockwise motion together throughout this base if hog riders are to split up even just a tad bit it causes them to not do as much damage and not clear through the base as fast which then causes them to thin out and then potentially lose the raid notice those few hogs that have just died at the back end there hogs by themselves are not very strong however if you group them together and they have numbers they'll clear through a base like it's nothing literally just like a knife through a hot knife through butter they'll get the job done no matter what here so now it's just a matter of cleanup and they've secured another triple with this attack strategy now we're going to go ahead and get into our fourth and final replay of the video with a bit of a different army composition however the same fundamentals and principles apply all right so now we're going to get into the fourth and final replay of the video and this one is a bit different we don't have any pekkas however we do have two golems so these golems are going to move in and do a ton of tanking for his kill squad as it moves in through this entry point now the reason this attacker has opted in for this entry point and decided to take golems rather than pekkas is notice the amount of dps where he's trying to enter in through the base here he's got three cannons two expos archer towers mortars there's too much dps for pekkas to really do a whole lot for him here so here comes the wall wrecker alongside the wizards and the golems here comes the king and the queen and now all of his main kill squad is moving through here that wall wrecker is going to be able to get through that first wall which is crucial as well as it's going to lure the enemy cc and eventually move up towards the queen the wall wrecker is going to pop here come the bowlers heal and rage over them and notice how much these bowlers grab just from that heal spell and rage spell they grab the enemy queen they've grabbed an expo and now they're moving through and creating an even tighter funnel for the hog riders over 40 percent of the base gone and he still has over three-fourths of his army in hand so clears the entire bottom side of this base now you can see a direct straight line for these hog riders to path from the top side all the way down to this final multi-target inferno so here come a few hogs from the about 12 to 10 o'clock side they're going to move through he's saving a few of them to take down some of these exterior defenses here to force the hogs inside of the base he doesn't want them peeling to the outside he wants them inside of the base dealing damage to these high hit point buildings here so the hogs are going to then charge straight into a multi he's going to heal straight over it this inferno tower is going to do absolutely nothing to these hog riders as long as that heal spell is over it and notice how many he's got left alive he's absolutely overkilled this base swagging a heal spell just <laughs> he smashed this raid honestly excellent base identification tons of value with his kill squad and excellent execution of this attack strategy so anyone out there who's looking for a super strong Town Hall 10 attack strategy, I highly recommend you test this one out, do some friendly challenges, test it out with your clan mates, maybe try it on the multiplayer battles, whatever is the best for you. I highly recommend it. But yeah, that is going to do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you for watching all the way to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, please feel free to drop a like on the video and don't forget to subscribe for some more awesome Clash of Clans content. But yeah, that's going to do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys later. See ya.